We're following a developing story out of Cape Canaveral, Florida. A SpaceX rocket has exploded. The company was test firing its unmanned Falcon 9 rocket, which is set to launch this weekend. CBS News senior space consultant Bill Harwood is with me now via Skype. Bill, what can you tell us? Well, apparently this explosion happened before the engines were fired. You know, SpaceX carries their rockets to the pad. They test fire the engines before every flight. And as you know, they were going to launch this rocket on Saturday. Uh, and as, as it turns out, sources tell me that this explosion happened during propellant loading uh, before the rocket would have ignited its engines around 9.15 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, so about five minutes before then is when this incident occurred, we think. Uh, really a devastating explosion. There's extensive damage to the launch pad and, of course, the rocket itself uh, was completely destroyed. Has SpaceX had any issues like this before? Never anything like this. Now, back on June 28, 2014, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket exploded in flight on the way to the International Space Station. That is their only failure in 28 launches to date. And before every one of those launches, they hot fired or test fired the main engines of the first stage. Never been an incident like this. They've had shutoffs, like premature shutdowns of engines before things like that, uh, but never anything like this. I know I'm asking you to speculate, but any idea then that what may have caused this? There's no way to speculate on that. I mean, there's just not enough information. Remember at the launch pad, you've got huge propellant tanks. You've got a very complex manifold of lines that come in from those tanks to the rocket. You know, a lot of electrical systems, you know, a spark and a leak, whether it's on the ground side or on the rocket itself, anything like that could trigger a, an explosion. We don't know yet uh, whether this originated in the rocket or in one of the launch pad support systems. But, you know, reports are the rocket blew up and uh, folks reported the tremendous explosion uh, we could see on long range cameras. It's just a towering plume of smoke, uh, and big fireballs in the middle of it. Uh, really a, a devastating e explosion. Yeah, and you mentioned that they had planned a, a launch this weekend. So, what does that mean going forward? Hard to say. I mean, clearly, the launch pad damage alone will delay SpaceX's next several launches. They're going to have to fix all that. They're going to have to figure out what went wrong and fix that. And we don't know yet whether the Amos 6 satellite was on board during this test. Sometimes this payload is on board the rocket for that hot fire test, sometimes it's not. Uh, this is a $195 million Israeli communication satellite. And of course, like I said, we don't know if that was lost or not in this explosion. But no matter what happens, it's going to be a while before SpaceX can fly again from Cape Canaveral. Well, there is a spacewalk going on today on a, a better note. Can you tell us uh, what's going on with the spacewalk today? Well, it's been hard to follow. I have to tell you, we tried to figure out what's going on out at the launch pad uh, with SpaceX. Uh, so far, everything's gone very well with the spacewalk. The primary objective was to pull in a radiator, a cooling radiator, that was left extended after a test several years ago. They wanted to get that stowed so they could keep that as a pristine spare in case they ever need one. Uh, that got done on time, on schedule. The astronauts had no problems. Uh, they're installing a high-definition television camera right now, and they're going to carry out some inspections of one of those big massive rotating joints that, that allows those uh, solar rays to track the sun like big giant paddle wheels. So they're going to inspect those, uh, make sure that's all working well, and then uh, that should wrap up with a successful spacewalk. Knock on wood. That's assuming it goes well the rest of the way. Yeah, we're getting very used to those, so we forget there are risks with everything. CBS News senior space consultant Bill Harwood. Bill, thank you. Sure thing.